What could it be? A pack! A pack of cards! Perfect. Okay, make sure this is all squared away. Let's get some music going. Music! There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Dramatic music for a dramatic game. So this is a trading card game, sort of like Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh or Magic the Gathering. I'm about to open a pack right here. Nope, nothing good. So let's just play some rounds, shall we? Create game. I use my awesome deck. Let's just do a computer hard and see if we can win. And I'll choose a random deck. Okay, so there are five lanes right here. These are my five lanes, and then these are the computer's five lanes. They've got health, they've got um, a level, as well as the number of cards in their deck right here. And so basically there's are two phases, one where you place the cards down, and then one where you attack them. And whoever loses all 100 health points first loses the game. So right now I'm going to put down this guy. Okay. And then end my turn. Battle, but I can't battle because it's the very first turn. You can't battle on the first turn. If you're just joining us now, welcome to Extra Life 2014. My name is Oliver Clark. I'm trying to raise $1,000 for Children's Miracle Network by 8 a.m. tomorrow. We've already raised 426 so far. And if you feel like helping that number grow, Please visit the URL seen below. Playing some Soul Forge right now against a computer on hard mode, so let's see if we can do some damage here. Alright, so I'm gonna move. This guy has an ability, which means he can move lanes, so I'm gonna move him over here, attack this guy, and put this guy here. When this guy goes in the center, everyone around him gets more attack points. So like I was explaining earlier, if all you gotta do is get the opponent's health points down to zero by attacking an empty lane, or there are some other ways too, but that's basically the, the easiest way to do it. And you get to place two cards per turn, and what's happening here is when you place a card, a leveled up version of that card goes back into your hand, or back into your deck, which you will draw out later. So the cards continually level up and get more powerful. So let's do some battling here. And so yeah, each card has health points and then attack points. And it's turn based. Let's turn down the music a bit here. Oh, hold on.
Sorry about that. That was a bizarre call. Anyway. Alright, back to Soulforge. Let's do some more battling. This guy's going to do 5 damage to us, though. I can't allow that to happen, even though I just added... So what this green thing is, is to... Uh, two health points regenerate every turn, as long as they don't die. I'm just going to turn the music down a bit here. There we go. Okay, let's see this guy. I like these cards. So this took away two health and two attack from each one. Ooh, so if I play this, I think I get... Oh! No, it's the next turn. So the next turn I can play one of these cards. I can play a, a third card. As long as it's a robot. Uh oh. He zapped me. This guy here. Ooh, 10 attack. That's pretty cool. Or I could give him a jetpack, which means he can move. That's probably better. I don't care if I take some damage. What? Did you see that? That was crazy. I can't use that one. So this guy has 10 shield, which means he's basically unstoppable. And if I put this here, he gets 2 attack and 2 health. As long as he's in the center lane, so he kills that guy. I like to play these games at a losing strategy, sort of losing health as long as I get the good monsters out. So I don't care about losing health. But I should start caring soon. <laughs> Let's do this one here. And this one here. I can level up a card. Level that one up. Battle. So if you're just joining us, or joining me, welcome to Extra Life 2014. My name is Oliver Clark. I'm trying to raise a thousand dollars for Children's Miracle Network, and it's only possible with your help. I feel like an NPR donation drive right now, but it's true. And you can also win a fifty-dollar gift card just for donating five dollars or more. The more you donate to, the more entries you get. So look into it. The URL's right down there. And it's really simple. 100% of your donation goes straight to helping the kids. Just playing some Soul Forge now, which is a trading card game, an online trading card game, kind of like a Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh or uh, what's it called? Magic: The Gathering, where you have these five lanes, and your opponent has the five lanes, and you have to try and attack them. And if you attack an empty lane, they take damage. And when they lose all 100 hit points, then they lose the game. What does this do? Each controlling... Each, uh, enemy the... Each monster the enemy controls loses 3 health. Or 3 attack with that one. Um... It's not looking too good right now. Let's put this here. This, what's this one do? Let's put this one here and attack. Jeez, oh, not going well. Kind of got distracted because I had a phone call just now. 
bizarre phone call from AT&T about my terrible internet. Yeah, we're not going to win this one. Yeah, we lose. Game over. Oh, I thought we were going to lose. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to lose this one. We'll try again. <laughs> I wasn't really focusing, apparently. I lose! Game over! Let's play again. Yeah, I'm, that was a fluke. Warm up round. Let's try again. Guess the computer and then maybe we'll go online. Let's put some strategy and thought into this. So we put this guy here, this guy here, this guy will increase the attack on this guy and kill him instantly because his ability is as long as he hits the person in his lane it'll destroy that monster. So now he's got an open lane. As long as if I can attack any of his open spots, he'll lose the hit points. The 100 hit points up here. Also, don't forget, if you're on Twitch, you can chat to me and I have it right here. We just had a lengthy conversation about Democracy 3 and how I got assassinated twice in that game because apparently I'm not a good president. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez, how did he get so much health? Alright, so this will take three attack from him. Still won't save my dude though. I like having a lot of monsters out. So we'll do that. We've got a pretty powerful monster even though we're going to lose this guy. And we did three damage to him, or her, this computer player. Super Smash Brothers is going to be eight players, what? Have you guys heard of this? Breaking news. Okay, back to the game. Put this guy in an. Ooh, should I put that guy or that guy in an energy prison? Let's put this guy in an energy prison, which means he can't attack unless he's attacked first. Move this guy over and do this. Kapow! Lower all their attack points. Even though we lost this guy. It's, it's fine, it's fine. I like the cards that just completely wipe out the other side. <laughs> like this one. Oh jeez. So if we do this. Look at that. Minus two from everybody. He can't attack. They only do one damage. And we'll put this awesome guy here. Oh, I forgot. He can't even attack. I shouldn't have bothered with that. Oh well. <laughs> I thought it was it's breaking news to me, okay? <laughs> Look at this. Watch this. Bam. Killed three cards at once. Ooh, I don't know if I want to put that guy. These are really strong guys. You see the red dot here? It means it's a legendary card. This little guy will help with leveling up, so we'll do better in the later rounds. So I'm going to put him out, even though this card is technically better right now. Hello to those just joining us. This is Extra Life 2014. 24 hours straight of video gaming goodness. I'm your host, Oliver Clark. And we are trying to raise $1,000 for Children's Miracle Network by playing these video games. So if you would like to help with that, check out the link. It's right below me on this stream. 
Uh, yeah, if you donate five dollars or more, you'll get entered into a raffle to win fifty dollar gift card to Amazon.com, and a hundred percent of your donation goes straight to helping sick and injured kids at Shan's Hospital for Children at the University of Florida. So I should probably put my hat on. <laughs> Doesn't fit over my <laughs> headset though. Do you guys like my set? I built it last night on a whim with all the things I could find. I got some batteries. I got my previous Extra Life shirts as well as my current Extra Life shirt. And then I got all sorts of games and little Skylander dudes. Check out those. Skylander dudes. <laughs> and Slim Jims. Can't forget the Slim Jims. And got another webcam if we want to go find the cat later. So that'll be interesting. All right, let's keep playing. Let's hope I win. Um, what do they have? Ah, they can't even attack me. Let's keep this guy. I like this lady because she levels up cards that you've discarded previously, so it makes it makes it easier to fight later on. So yeah, if if you don't know what Soul Forge is, it's a trading card game. You've got these five lanes right here, uh, so you can put a monster in each one of these. And as long as you're attacking an open lane, they lose these hit points. And when you lose all your hit points, you lose the game. So I'm going to put this guy here. Now I'm going to put uh, this guy. I'm going to lose 6, but I'm going to lose 11 next turn. So I'm going to put this guy here instead. And then I'm going to discard one of these to level it up for next round. This one. So now it puts a level 2 version back in my deck, which I can pull out later. So we're doing pretty. We're doing okay. Even though we're losing on the uh, battle for health here, we still have some pretty good monsters out. And this guy is pretty sweet too. Ah, oh, if only I could keep my middle guy alive. He's gonna get killed next round though. Let's put this one here. What does this guy do? So when you activate him the next level one robot is free which means you get an additional um, turn. So that's pretty useful. This guy's gonna die this turn as well attack and see what happens. So if I put this on here, he'll kill that her next round. Then I'm going to discard this guy so he puts a level 2 version in my deck. So yeah, I'm also looking at the uh, Twitch chat if you want to say hi or want to yell at me for doing something wrong, that'd be cool too. And what the heck just happened? How do you get so much health? Let's play this card. Let's play this card. And can't play any more cards. Oh, that's gonna hurt because he's gonna get even more attack points when he attacks. Look. Oh man. Oh sweet, we got a donation! Awesome. Thank you to whoever that was. I don't know just yet because my email's slow. I get to change the donation thing. Sweet. Look at that, 74 health and we have 47. <coughs> oh jeez, he's getting too much. I don't, this doesn't look good. <laughs> I think if I do that, he'll survive another round. And we'll 
discard this one and hopefully we get a next a good card next turn, otherwise it might be the end. $50 donation. Okay. Minus five attack for everybody. Oh, well, maybe we're not as in dire straits as I thought. Because I can kill that guy. And it took two damage. Come on, good cards. That's not... All that leveling up and we didn't get any of the leveled up cards. That's no good. Oh man. Thank you Kyle. That's great. That's awesome. Let's change the, uh, the total here. 476 I think it's up to now. Almost halfway. Almost halfway. And we're not even halfway through the day. Let's put uh, this guy in an energy prison. Let's uh, attack this guy. Oh no! I think we lost. Oh, so close too. Third time's a charm. Third time's a charm. So if you're just joining us now, I'm terrible at Soul Forge, <laughs> but we're getting—I'm getting better. We uh, we're up to $476 out of a thousand-dollar goal. Hope to reach that by 8 a.m. tomorrow. So if you want to help, just look at that link below and enter that. Or even if you're on Twitch on your web browser, you can scroll down and there'll be a link. There'll be a picture. Just click that one. And uh, if you donate five dollars or more, you get entered into a raffle for a $50 Amazon gift card, which is pretty awesome. And the more you donate, the more entries you get, so keep your wallets open. Yeah, all this is for a great cause. It's for Children's Miracle Network. 100% of your donation goes straight to helping sick and injured kids in need. At um, Specifically, it's at uh, UF Hospital, the Children's Hospital there, the Shans. And I've played, this is my third year that I've been playing for them. And I think in total we've raised over fifteen hundred dollars in those three years so that's pretty cool so let's keep playing here I'm gonna try and win I wanna win one and I'll go through the rules again just for the news people who are joining us now so yeah it's basically you have these five lanes it's a trading card game similar to like a Pokemon or a Yu-Gi-Oh or Magic the Gathering you have these five lanes to put these monsters down and basically if you attack if you attack an empty lane it does damage and you just have to keep your hundred hit points if you lose all hundred hit points you, just, you lose the game but there's also an interesting element here where uh, when you play a card the next level version of that card goes into your deck so your cards level up which is cool because then they get more they get stronger and stronger the more you play and the longer the game goes on which this isn't good though because the random deck I chose for the computer happens to be the same deck I'm using and they're much better at it and this this is a great card so when he moves into another lane because that's his ability is to move lanes watch what happens he kills that guy he kills the monster which is great so as long as he stays alive I can keep doing that that card's pretty cool too so what happens is when you put him in the center lane, every other monster gets two attack added to their attack points. And I also want to keep this lady alive because she helps with later on in the game. Because every time you activate her ability, you discard a card from your hand and it levels up. So you get even more, you get higher leveled up cards in your hand. But that only helps if you can stay alive long enough to use them. <laughs> Which, as we've seen, doesn't happen. <laughs> oh, man. 
man. The other thing I can do, this is cool. So if I play this on an enemy card, they can never attack, which is cool, unless I attack them. The thing is, if I... Let's do this. Let's add him here. If I add six, that should be enough to kill him. And then I can also save my battle technician from being attacked by this guy. And then I can also discard. So now that card will actually be free next round where I can play it uh, as an additional turn. So that's even if I get it. So it's randomly pulled from my deck cards. All right, so yeah, I've got some good cards here. As long as I can keep him alive. This isn't good, if he, yeah, if he does any damage, he's instantly destroyed, so I'm not gonna use him there. I'm gonna move him over here. Or over here, I mean. This guy is pretty weak anyway, so I'll just put him there. This guy gives me free robots next round, so that's even better. Oh no, that's a different guy, sorry. Who should I level up? This guy's great too, because he eats the per the monster, but he gets all their abilities and uh, battle points. So we're winning right now. They've lost 12 health, and we haven't lost any health, and we have a lot more monsters than they do on the field. And I'm also... I will be now. I'm back in the Twitch chat, so if you want to say anything on Twitch, how's your day going, huh? What is it, 10.32 on the East Coast? Is everyone at work? It's Friday, though. Friday! Tell me about your day. And I'll tell you about mine. Ooh, if I get rid of her, she can't do any leveling. If I boost that guy... What can he do? Oh, he's already done his ability, so let's put this guy. This guy doesn't die! If he gets killed, he goes back into another lane. And this card is free to play. So now he's increased in uh, attack points and health. Which is great because the center lane guy improves everyone around him. So as long as he saves alive, they get the improvements. Uh oh. What can we do here? Armor. Let's keep boosting the center guy. I, I feel like he's good to have around. Move this one. Oh, you know it would be cool. No, no, because he's doing 12 damage. Otherwise, I was going to say, we could put this on him, and he'd be able to move uh, over a space and survive, but then I'd take 12 damage, and I don't want to do that. So let's put this guy out instead. Let me just change. I think I still say, yeah. Oh no, I said Soul Forge, okay. And my extra life Twitch title. Okay. Wonder if this affects his shield though. Let me try this card. Oh, it does. Okay, great. Because that would have been a pain to get through his shield. But I had a card that takes out two of his health. I keep doing that. Bam. And let's put this one here. We're gonna be unstoppable! Look at that! They're already down to 51 health, 32 health. We might actually win this game! I told you, third time's a charm. Ooh, this guy's cool. This is the one that moves into lanes and kills the person in that lane. Uh-oh. 
They did a sonic blast thing that got rid of all of our health. Uh, let's put this guy down here. He doesn't have to die yet. He can go here. A little battle. Mm -hmm. Let's take a screenshot. I want to have something else to post on the social networks. Oh, I still... Okay, cool. I thought I lost my center guy. Don't want to lose him. So now this is great because... Well, actually, let me see what this card does. Four attack, four. Sweet. So if I do this, my center guy will stay alive. If I play this card... Oh, I should have moved him over. But uh, this card never goes away. It never... Once it dies, it's just... It instantly spawns back in one of my slots. He never dies. That's why he's Zimus or Zymus the Undying. I think we might have. Oh dear. Never speak too soon. Tech upgrade. Plus three. Let's make a super dude. Let's put this guy here. Give him an upgrade to give him actual attacking power. Oh, I forgot he can't attack. Never mind. Alright, great. So, oh, they're going to block him, but we should be on our way to winning this. This will be the best. I've only lost two games so far. Uh oh. See? comes right back. It's perfect. Let's put him here. What's this card do? Two target creatures get regeneration ability. That's pretty cool. Well, let's put this guy here. Can't call the weak. you regenerate attack points? No, I think it's just health. Let's just use this just so it levels up our card here. So you're just joining us. This is Soul Forge. It's like a trading card game, sort of identical to Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh! or Magic the Gathering, but there are only five lanes. And you put monsters in each one of these, and as long as you're attacking an open lane, you'll do damage to the opponent. But the... the what makes this game different is your cards actually level up the further you play, the longer you play. You know what I want to do? I just want to move this guy to an open lane so we can do 10 damage. <laughs> oh! I think I can! Watch! I think I just won! Watch this. Move this one over here. Make this guy mobile as well. Move him over here. And move this guy just for fun. Bam! Look at that! Look at that! Yes! Victory screen! Ugh. I almost forgot what it looked like. And I think we get a prize too. We get a prize for winning. <gasps> Pack. So in these uh, packs, it's like a booster pack, you open them up, you could get something awesome, like a legendary card, which I have a lot of, but I could always do more with, do with more. Oh, well, that was kind of lame. We only got one rare card. What's up next? I think it's Ticket to Ride up next. So yeah, in 20 minutes I'll be playing some Ticket to Ride. But for now, I think I'm going to do one more game of Soul Forge. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. So yeah, I'm on 
Twitch, I'm on the chat. I have it right here if you want to say anything. I'm going to say hi to you guys. Thanks for tuning in. And let's go again. Let's go again. I would play online, but they have this thing where it's uh it's timed, but you can take your time. You have like 20 minutes, so people don't often respond right away. So computers like to respond right away. And the computer on hard can actually be quite tough, like some people might have seen before when I lost twice. Let's play this guy first. I don't like to crowd the middle lane because of what we had last time, which was the center guy that goes right there and then he helps everyone around him. But on the first turn, I usually like to play something that will stand the test of time or at least last one or two rounds, which this guy will because he has a 10 shield. Um. Yeah, let's keep defending, I guess. Oh wait, no, we could... Yeah, let's do that instead. Uh, this adds three attack to him. Oh, I could keep him alive, or I could take some attack from him. Let's do that. Oh no, he's going to survive this round anyway. Cool. Just joining us. This is Extra Life 2014. We've raised $476 so far for children in need at Shan's Hospital for Children at the University of Florida. What does he do? Oh, free robot. Oh, it should be a free robot, right? Battle Guardian, Battle Technician. Yeah, it was a free robot. So I got to play an extra card because of, of the uh, Arc Flight Squadron guy. Oh man, I'm gonna lose my central guy, so I'll just. At least he'll kill someone on his way out. <laughs> Ooh, this is a good card too. This one takes three attack from all of the enemy monsters. Which we're gonna need because we just lost our central guy. And that's my undying guy, this one I'm about to play, the Zymus. He's the one that if you level him up high enough, he will never leave the battlefield. Every time he'll die, he gets respawned, which is awesome. Come on, battling, battling, battling. Kitty cat! I have a special surprise. If we reach $500, I think, we're going to go on a go find the cat with the external webcam over there. So that'll be interesting. Okay, robots, robots everywhere. Not a drop to drink. Minus two, minus two for every monster on the opposite side. That's pretty cool. I like free robots, though. I want more free robots. And I also want to keep this guy alive on the other side because it takes up a slot and he can't do any damage to me. Even though we're losing now, we're not actually losing badly. Free robot? Free robot? Yes! I love free robots. Wait, what does this guy do? When he deals battle damage to a player, he gets two attack and health. Let's stop that right away. Let's do this guy. And let's do... Oh no, I played my free robot, but I don't need him. Two attack, two health, that'll do. Let's do this. Sweet! Keep our people alive. These are our people. <laughs> I said running in. In the chat. 
not running, it's supposed to be tuning. How do you spell tuning? I think that's how you spell tuning. Okay, what happened here? All of our robots are still alive. Take out all of their robots. Drain all of their attack points. And then call the weak. What's this guy? Never seen this one before. Oh yeah, I have. When he enters the field to attack, two health for every of that type of card. Okay, that's fine. I don't know if I want to put more robots down. Who's in favor of more robots? Let's make it a robot city. We built this city on robots. Nothing but robots. Except this guy. I think he's not a robot. More robots? This is getting out of hand. Someone's got to stop this. Can't just have robots non stop. <laughs> Look at all these guys. They're all on def the the D symbol means they can't attack at all, so they're all in defense. We've got a wall of robots. But as long as they survive, watch what I can do. Full bam! Okay, let's go on the offensive here. Is that guy gonna die anyway? No. Nope. I love that undying guy. Just need to level him up some more, then he'll never go away. He just always stays on the battlefield. How much time is left? 21 hours to go! That's plenty. That's fine with me, as long as we keep winning. Free robots. Um. Let's put him here because he'll attack. Oh no, he can't attack this turn. I've run out of space. That's fine, I don't need to play another card. I've run out of space amongst all the robots. Impenetrable wall. No! No, 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 no. Free robot! Free robots. Ooh, let's start adding some attack to these guys. Let's add this one here. Add this one here. Take away his health and then he'll survive. Or his attack points, rather. And we've got the unstoppable robot force. Bro. Watch this. Kapow. Double kapow. Just tuning in. Object the objective of this game is to lower the health points of the opposing team to zero. And you do that by attacking empty lanes. So I'm just trying to do that now. It's uh, get rid of some of their monsters and attack. And that my favorite card, the Undying guy, because once he dies, he respawns in another spot and he never leaves the battlefield. Am 
minus 9 attack. That's fine with me. Let's keep our center dude alive because this guy adds attack points to everyone else. We're doing some serious damage now. This is great. You can't stop us. You can't stop us. Okay, maybe you can stop us a little bit. Um, let's increase his attack power. Increase his attack power again. He does 27 damage now. Look at this. In one hit, 27 damage, gone. I might pay for that later because I didn't play another monster. But I have two blockades anyway, so that's okay. See, he spawns right back. This is great, great. Play this guy, play this guy. So he will kill him instantly. And I'll do 14 damage now, and on our way to winning this one again. That'll be two in a row, that'll be great! And also we're gonna play some Ticket to Ride next, I think. Isn't that what's on the schedule? Hey Saint Fence, should have at least discarded Pain of Your Cards, leveled it. Yeah. I'm not playing too seriously right now. And I ha actually have a lot of cards that help me level up. I haven't been getting them recently though. But I'm finding that my monster, my robot monster strategy seems to be working against these computer players. But yeah, typically I'd, I'd focus more on leveling up. But yeah, I won! Sweet! Mm, I don't know if we have enough time. I think that's going to do it for Soul Forge. Thanks for tuning in for that. Oh yeah, Democ Yeah, my schedule got messed up a little. What does it say next? Democracy 3. I played Faster Than Light, played Soul Forge. Tickets arrives at 11 though. But yeah, I got messed up because I, I forgot to play Soul Forge. I played Democracy 3 instead. I'm going to change that. I think I'm going to play some more Democracy 3 because I think that's funnier to watch. So yeah, I'm going to take a 5 to 7 minute break. I'm going to get everything set up. And we'll come back with some more Democracy 3. Alright? leave you with the Soul Forge music. Don't forget to check out all the donation information. Donation information. You could win an Amazon gift card. It'd be great. So stay tuned. Be right back. Thanks.
So yeah, my microphone was muted. Great. So yeah, I'm playing uh, Democracy 3, which is a country simulator. So if you've been watching in the past couple hours or so, basically you run the country with a whole bunch of sliders and all sorts of things and charts and spreadsheets and try not to get assassinated which I've been assassinated twice now so am I either doing something really right or really wrong <laughs> where's my freedom party we hate unity we love freedom but we hate unity okay so you're just joining us welcome to extra life 2014 and welcome to my reign as dictator of the United States. Just kidding. I'm a president. Uh, so unemployment, yeah. Crime is bad. GDP, bad. Health, bad. Let's see if we can fix everything. We're already starting with a massive deficit, too. So basically, in this game, this is it. So you're just looking at all these different things, adjusting sliders, and trying to keep everyone in line and in order and people happy and hopefully you'll get reelected. So the biggest thing is we're really popular with retired people, really popular with state employees, we're hated by the liberals. The biggest thing I did in the first time I played this was I got the capu capitalists really mad at me and they assassinated me. But I don't care, because you got to pay for this stuff somehow. So if you're a corporation in my country, you're getting taxed. That's all I can say. Turn to the government. Okay, our polls are pretty bad. 19% like us. Expenditures still through the roof. Uh, let's try cutting military spending. changes. Police. We don't need armed police. Do we? No. What's the other thing? There's another police one in here. No automatic rifles. But the liberals will hate us. Forget that. Education. I like to support education, but I really want to get the deficit down. Limit the agency. We don't want people to be tricked into another mortgage crisis now, do we? Okay. Approval rating improved. Crime's still bad. Health is bad. Deficit's going down. What's this? Technology grants. Everyone likes technology. 
to increase that. I want to build a space station too, eventually. Portion, no. Boom. Violent crime through the roof. Just kidding. Alcohol consumption up. Minimum age is 18. That's fine. <laughs> okay. Ban alcohol adverts. Nah. Who am I going to make mad now? We've got a caped vigilante running the streets. Oh, I think I need to change what my Twitch says. Because I'm not playing Soul Forge anymore. I'm playing Democracy. Thanks for tuning in. If you're just tuning in, this is Extra Life 2014, my 24 hour gaming marathon. Supporting. Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, specifically Shans at uh, the University of Florida. This is my third year doing this and we've raised, what, over $1,500 in those three years? And I, I raised $750 last year, I want to beat that. I'm trying to raise 1000 so if you can help, anything will help really, a dollar, five dollars. Just look at this link below or if you're on Twitch, just scroll down and click the picture that says support me be awesome you could win a five not a five dollar gift card you could win a fifty dollar Amazon gift card with a five dollar or more donation and every five dollars increases your chances of winning that as well so right now we're playing democracy 3 which simulates the United States or any country you pick but I picked the United States and basically my experience with this game so far is uh, trying to avoid assassination but usually it ends up pretty poorly and I've been assassinated twice now um, so let's see what we can do here. Our, I really wanted to reduce the deficit. I've got some pretty high approval ratings. What about prisons here? Some re-education, everyone likes that. You know it's gonna cost us money. Military spending I gotta, I gotta deal with. I want some more income tax. Everyone loves income tax, right? Gosh, look at that. It's the worst. <laughs> if we boost it to $700 billion. Maybe we'll make some money. And get everyone really, really mad at us. <laughs> okay, we got a B at the credit bureaus. That's fine. 25%. Polling, global economy's all right. Everyone's. Oh my gosh! Look how close we are to uh, getting rid of the deficit. Capital gains tax through the roof. Let's offset that with some. Balance labor laws. Let's no machine guns. All right, I don't have any more. This is also it also runs on this political clout that goes up every turn. Regulate children's food. No more fat children. That's fine with me. And we got our credit rating downgraded. Perfect. But our health is improving. Unemployment's pretty bad still. Um how did that happen? How did expenditures get so bad again? Oh, intelligence services. I wonder if that's what got me killed last time was getting rid of all the intelligence services. Uh-huh. Let's do a sizable agency here. Cuz I don't want to get assassinated. Maximum technology colleges. Everyone likes technology. It helps the economy. Okay, 25%. Yeah, uh huh. Let's 
expenditures have gotten out of hand again. It's lower military spending. Ah! Credit rating downgraded again. Crime is going up. We're still not doing th anything about income. Let's put a tobacco tax in there. Gas tax. Everyone gets taxed. Oh, I can't do that yet. Great! Capitalists are after me again. What do we do about the capitalists? Private prisons, technology grants, what matters the most to them? Income tax, corporation tax. Let's get some... We can't cut the taxes, we were so close! Keep that up then. Gas. That's fine. Catalyst ate everything. Oh, I don't have the political capital to do that. Athlete wins gold medal. Patriotism improves. I almost died. <laughs> I need to increase my security. Where did my uh, agency go? Where did my spy agency go? Just to let you know I'm in Twitch chat if you want to say anything or whatever. Um, no border patrol, no anything, just random passport checks will be fine. Millions and millions of private prisons. That's what you want, capitalists. You're gonna get it. Another failed assassination attempt. <laughs> They're all trying to kill me, and yet I got 42% of the vote. Go away, Betty Patterson. We don't need your disloyalty here. Come on, capitalists. We need you. Let's hire a capitalist this time. I don't want to be assassinated again. I'm doing so well, I thought. <sighs> I quit. I quit this game. I got assassinated again. That's it. I'm going back to Ticket to Ride.
Yeah, no more of that. Tickets a ride. I don't want to get assassinated anymore. Well, I thought I had it installed. Just be a minute here. Give me some time to talk about that camera over there. If we reach $500, we're going to go on an adventure to find the cat. And I have this external webcam which we can use to do that. So, yeah, tune in for that. You like my set? It's got all you need it's got Skylanders, it's got Slim Jims. Got my previous extra life shirts. This is, like I said, it's my third year doing this, and we've raised over fifteen hundred dollars. And I've actually spoken with the people who work at that hospital, and they've said the majority of the money for the extra life event comes from me. So that was pretty cool to hear. Let's see where we are here. It's downloading. Okay. Playing. Let's change all the announcement stuff and the Twitch title and all that. Playing Ticket to Ride.